Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 19 of Civilization 6 as Rome. I did want to check, did I actually build the Terracotta Army? I did not, maybe somebody else got it. I did want to get the Terracotta Army because it's fantastic for being able to pick up the um, antiquities sites that are in other people's territory. Uh, but no, I don't think I ever managed to get it. I think I was planning to, but then Rome didn't actually have an encampment at the time. Oh well, it's not overly important, we're not going for a cultural victory here. Japan is still attacking me with his um, religious units, which I really do not appreciate. Might come off worse there as well. Well, I have got an Inquisitor moving in, so we can go ahead and remove Buddhism from over here. Now, this unit definitely needs to heal up. So, you can do that. So, what are we going to do over here? You are literally just escorting the gun. So you want to move down this way towards Rome. Let's get these annoying trade routes sorted out. Choose a production. So what do we want to do over here in Kume? Anything particularly useful? I guess we could get the zoo because that would reach Antium and Ar um, Arken and a few other places. You are at your housing cap though. It'd be 18 turns for a neighbourhood. Got positive amenities at the moment. Let's go ahead and get some housing first. We can get um, six if we build here. And then we'll work on getting the zoo. Or in fact, can we even just afford to buy the zoo? Uh, not quite. 1620. So it'll take a little while before we can, uh, we can do that. Uh, so what do we want over here? We can certainly get a zoo in London. Might not really be worth it. Don't have a lot of production over here, which is our major problem. The industrial zone would take a while to build. Let's go ahead and get a bank. Uh, I still see you have religious units around here that are being quite annoying. So we could build a neighbourhood. Again, we don't really need to. Do we need to work on any of this stuff over here? I guess you can start working on some coastal stuff. It'd take a long time for you to build any of this stuff, though. Don't have enough population to get the um, to get anything really. Let's work on a builder. We'll improve some of the uh, hills and stuff. Try and get some more mines. Let's make sure you're working some food tiles instead of all the production tiles, because then you might actually have a chance of growing. Um, unfortunately, it's about the only half decent food tile that you've got. We've still got a few more barbarians around that we need to deal with. Um, we do want to try and spread our religion to our own city. You are going to use the roads to head over in that direction. Still can't clear that out, unfortunately. So let's start moving in. You're going to move here and finish off that scout. Trade route plundered. Actually lost a trade route to a barbarian because of this camp here. Which is another one that we need to sort out. We don't need to sort that out with the bombard. Ah, yes, we were moving down to deal with it via the musketman. So let's start moving around there. Bring everybody else in towards the fight. And we do have an inquisitor here. This city does have the correct religion. This one does not. Um, you've got no movement left. Uh, you get majorly defeated, so you need to be in the safety of the city for now. This would be a stalemate. This would be a major defeat. Try and kill him off if we can. Doesn't look like we can do it on this turn. And again, we've got a few more barbarians around that we're going to need to sort out. So why are you telling me I can do stuff if I can't? Move you on to the holy site. Yeah, apparently you can't attack him. Well, you're just staying there on the holy site then. That's how you're going to be. We can pop you again. You will be so good and generous as to let me free, the dolphin went on. I shall render you such real services in the course of my life that you will never need to repent of your kindness. 
So on we go, I guess. So we've got another unit that we can move. Again, another unit that it won't... Why won't you let me attack? It'll be a major defeat, which is a good reason why I shouldn't attack. But let's go ahead and hide in there. Go on to the next turn. Well, we were expecting that, considering the amount of Warmonger penalty that we've got anyway. Everybody else has denounced us, so that is hardly a surprise. Starting to get quite a few Barbarian units up around here now. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You guys are going to start working your way down here. We could probably do with another unit up here to do something. Right, you are going to... Um, you need to do quite a major spread, actually. Now, can we attack you? That would be a stalemate. This would be a major defeat. But it does have the right religion, so, you know, let him try and spread. Uh, we need some sort of military unit over here to be able to deal with um, everything that's around us. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a new musketman. Uh, what have we got going on down here? Ah, we can actually work on the terracotta army. Let's go and see if we can get it. Um, unfortunately, there's no particularly good tile, so we'll have to try and build it there. We might be able to grab this. Um, I'd love to be able to clear that camp out. You really have no line of sight from there? Genuinely? Okay. Really surprised that this scout hasn't just grabbed it yet. It had plenty of opportunities to do so. Um, you guys just keep moving this way. Don't really know where you're going to go. Bombard's had all of its movement. This Apostle's coming down this way as well. Guess you just sort of move up a turn at a time, really. Wherever you can. You just can move up to there on the road. Skip your turn. This gun is going to move up onto the hill. You should just get on the road, really. This, the new movement system really does keep catching me out. You're heading down here to deal with this barbarian camp. It's just going to take you a little while to get around there. I still think we should just um, heal up here and not actually bother attacking this guy. We've got another cannon that we can move in. Right, you should be close enough now to move in here and um, remove heresy. And we just get our own religion back. There is unfortunately another apostle down here. Uh, my apostle would be majorly defeated if I tried to attack. So let's not do that. You can't do anything more. On to the next turn we go. You're actually attacking my Inquisitor there, which is just not on. You've got another Apostle coming in. I mean, what we could do is we could declare war on Japan. The key words of violent economics. See, we're getting stuff pillaged now by... Um, by this guy. Uh, we could just declare war on Japan and just go and kill those units that way. My concern is the war weariness, but I think it might be required now because he really is spamming them out. Uh, we get a major victory here. I don't want you to spread religion. I want you to attack. Can't understand why we're not allowed to attack this uh, missionary. It's a little strange. We've still got some of the wrong religion over here as well, which is not good. Um, well, okay, let's just go and spread to your city then, if you're going to play that game. Uh, let's get moving down in this direction. So we've got this Apostle with a gunman. Right, let's start moving all these units down. So the question I'm trying to ask myself at the moment, do I just want to go and outright try and attack um, the Japanese here? Major defeat if we attacked with you. That would be a major defeat as well. We did remove that heresy. Um... Do you know what? I think we can throw a couple of units at this Apostle just to kill it off. Then if we attack with this Apostle, we are then putting this Apostle at risk and he does have another one here. 
But I'm just trying to get these guys killed off. So that'll remove some more. Greece is now getting upset. I mean, that wasn't even deliberately done. It's just because one of his cities was close enough that it happened. But we do have the right religion here now, which is good. Uh, we also have the right religion here. And we could go up here and try and spread, but I think we'll just stay here and, um, and wait. You can't do anything, unfortunately. So I'm moving down with you. And again, we, you know, we get to move one tile. We, we're literally wasting movement. It's so unfortunate. Uh, let's go and get that camp finally cleared. We start heading these units towards the front. I am very, very tempted with how things are going right now to literally just go and declare war on Japan. But I need to declare war on um, Congo because we need to get through um, Mbwila over here. I mean, we could just try and take this and then peace out and then go to war with Japan first. But I'm not even entirely sure where Japan's capital is. I don't think I've seen Japan's capital at this point. So it could be a long way away. Uh, but it'd be nice to try and find out. Let's go on to the next turn. And he comes with more apostles. But I do not intend to let him convert me. Sounds like there's some barbarian fighting going on somewhere or over here. It's like a bit of a, an animation um, loop glitch thing going on. There we go. City-states fighting the barbarians, basically. Okay, so let's try and get this camp cleared because it's been quite annoying. Get this guy moving back down as well. It's probably, yeah, there's another camp over here that needs dealing with. Let's try and get rid of as many of these barbarians as we can. So the religion's working out for us. This one should flip in the not too distant future. Again, it's still saying major defeat, so we'll just leave you healing up. There is another scout there. We have a trade route that might as well go to um, her, actually. Yeah, so they are they are going to keep trying to pump out. Mind you, those should this should be my religion now, shouldn't they? Because she has my religion. Um, oh, we've got a spy over here. Let's try and siphon funds if we can. Uh, so we could attack here. Apparently we would have a major victory. Let's just bring you back and put you in the holy site. Let you heal up. We'll just keep them around in case they try and do anything. It'll take that musketman a long time to get around there because of the movement problems. So the question is, where is Japan's capital? Who do we go to war with first? Uh, this Inquisitor is like half dead. But the Apostle's probably slightly more useful. So let's put the Apostle in there. Major defeat. Major defeat. Yeah, not really an awful lot else that we can do. So I'd like to go to war with Japan. I say no idea where his capital is. I think we just do it. We can always find a way to peace out. We've, we've got to get some war started if we want this to work. So, um, Holy War will only be uh, moderate. So let's go ahead and do that. Because I'm really not liking the fact that he's dumping all of these units on top of me. So let's sort those out first. And then we'll do Mbanza Congo. We are moving units down there slowly, but we will get the job done. So what we're literally just going to do is move units on top of these Apostles and it will instantly kill them. And uh, f do we have enough movement with you to get to that Apostle? We do not. Which is a bit of a shame. Oh, this we do actually. And now he's really happy because we're spreading our religion to him even though we're only doing it by killing other people's uh, 
religious units. So he's got our religion now. Uh, Lisbon, I can't tell because the icon for that settler is in the way. Um, uh, Nagoya even has our religion. Sparta's kind of undecided at the moment. But yeah, certainly we are uh, managing to push our religion forward there. Um, so this Inquisitor, I think you are just basically going to sit around. We'll get you healed up when you can. And um, the problem isn't so much Japan now. It's going to be uh, Congo. So that Apostle, you're probably going to be fine to just go to sleep. We'll leave you there until we need you. It's just moving all of these units forward so that we can use them in a proper scrap. Let's go on to the next turn. So the only reason I really need to get Umbrilla Conga out of the way is I need to be able to get through where that ship is. Got a lot of units ha uh, there is spawning up there. Made that approaches anything in nature. Well, they're square rigging, so we want to go on steam power so we can get coal and ironclads, which we're already working on. You need to finish off that scout. You need to start heading down this way to come and get this camp. So we've got a fair few problems going on. So we do have a field cannon down here. We've also got a bombard down here. Now before I do go and declare this war, if you would be willing to just give me that city, and I have seen them do it in the past, he's still denouncing us. So he's very unlikely to ever want to give me that. And it looks like it's his only other city, to be honest. Yeah, he would not accept the deal. No, not even if I gave him everything. So we are going to have to take that, basically. It's unfortunate, but it is in my way and it needs to go. So we're going to start moving a few units forward. Uh, particularly, we want to get the Bombard up nice and close. Uh, we do need some other military units moving in. Particularly, we need some melee units. Because we don't have anything melee down here at all right now. That's going to be a little bit of a pain. There's also another barbarian camp down here that we need to deal with. So we'll probably do that with you. So it's just getting all of these field cannons into place. There's another bombard. You guys move this way. So we've got plenty of ranged. We just do not have any... Um... You can also probably stay there. We've got plenty of ranged units. We just don't actually have what we need, which is some melee. You're going to move down here as well. You've got the camp to clear out. So you're just pillaging everything, which is upsetting me greatly. I'm going to start moving south with this guy. I know there's that camp there, but this one's already moving down towards it. And we really do need to try and get some of these guys back home now. But yeah, I think you've only got my religion left. So these guys, yeah, these are Afroism missionaries. That's why I couldn't attack it. I couldn't attack it because it's the same religion as mine. Right, okay. Makes sense now. So the only religion you can spread is my religion. So in that case, let's go ahead and move this apostle over here. And uh, we'll do a spread just to make sure that this city does have the right religion. You're just going to go to sleep. Now it makes more sense. There we go. You're actually now spreading my own religion to me. So you go and knock yourself out with the hat. Barbarians are annoying. Hopefully the city-state can deal with most of them. Um, I'm going to ignore his request. I am going to attack him. It's obviously, we're going to do that. But uh, we will wait... So you are going to move over here and spread religion. So that will now have Afroism. Yep, you're going to start heading down. Uh, you need to start moving over towards that camp. And again, we can't even get over the river, which is a bit of a pain. So everybody's going to start heading down towards the roads. He's got a couple of settlers here that we could so totally nab. Um... I mean, he's escorting them, but we could certainly grab a few. He does have quite a lot of units close by, though, which does make me worry a little. And how strong are these things? We could do actually a lot of damage to these guys. Let's move you over here, because I'm not sure you could get in there, but I'd love you to be able to. We can get that bombard a little bit closer. Sort of get... Oh, no. Um, never mind. Yeah, you've got a unit there. 
We can move you there, though. Um, unit needs orders. Let's get you to skip a turn. Let's get you to skip a turn as well. Let's get you to skip a turn. He's not going to declare on me. He does have that unit down there. I'm not too bothered about his scouts. The AI doesn't tend to do an awful lot with scouts, but we'll do one more turn. Hmm. Being denounced by Greece, but there again, we don't really care. Thinks we're a warmonger? Well, we are. So we are currently at war with Japan. Like I said, I don't really know where any of his units are. But if we can start building some ships out, then we should be able to go and find out the where he is. The effect of the mass media is not to elicit belief, but to maintain the apparatus of addiction. I think um, being able to accumulate less war weariness than usual will be quite useful for us. Um, because we are going to be at war for quite some time, I would have thought. Uh, now, what is it that we want to actually go into next? It's into ideology, so we can start getting these things. So let's go and work on that. Uh, I guess we might as well use that spread again. So that should be like Afroisms everywhere up here now. Do you want to keep working way down because you need to get to that camp? You might as well heal up. There we go. Oh, you've got some uh, horse archers, have you? Very good. Let's start getting you down. Keep moving as much as we can. Try and get as many people at the front as possible. So what I would like to do is capture one of these settlers. Might just even sell them. I don't even think I want to even build another city. Let's go ahead and get this war started. Uh, we do have a colonial war, CB. Not that it really matters. I mean, we've already got so much... Um We've already got so much uh, warmonger penalty that it really doesn't matter what we do now. But there we go. So what I'd like to do is attack that war chariot with you. Now that settler is unguarded, you should be able to grab that. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got the bombard. We could attack the city. Or we could try and just weaken off some of the units. I think we just try and weaken off some of the units that are sort of choking us here. Also, remember, um, Lisbon are on our side as well, so they will be helping out. We do have some more units moving in. Um, you're just going to stay on top of that for the time being. We'll move you out on the next turn. And we just start getting... Oh, you were going to go down and sort that camp out, weren't you? Let's go and do that so we don't forget then. Oh, no, actually, you can do it. We'll cancel your action. This one can move towards it. Assuming I remember, I'll move him down there and we'll probably see. But that's all I can do on this turn, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI as Rome. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.